Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are benchmarking the Zolo Q2500, the 6 inch phablet. Let's get into settings about phone. From here, you can see the model number. It's a Q2500 running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with a promised Android 4.4 KitKat update as well. Now, before we start talking about hardware information, I wanted to show you this feature. So, if you tap on the notification LED, the entire 6 inch display is available for use. This would be pretty handy especially in gaming and video playback. So you have the MT6582 chipset right there, 720 by 1280 pixels display. Then you have the 1.3 GHz quad core processor based on ARMv7. And you have the Mali 400 MP2 GPU clocked at 500 MHz. It's a dual core GPU. You have 966 MB of RAM out of 1 GB that's available to the system. And you have a 8 megapixel primary camera with autofocus LED flash. It's a dual LED flash and it's capable of recording 1080p video. You also have a 2 megapixel front facing camera capable of 720p video capture. In terms of battery, you have a 3000 mAh lithium ion battery, which is non removable. You can see the accelerometer, the proximity sensor and the light sensor there and all of them are working perfectly fine. Now let's start with the benchmarks. First off is Quadrant. We have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the results quickly. Let's summit the score to get a comparison chart going. So we got a score of 6952 on Quadrant which is quite a high score. It's higher than the Canvas Magnus but less than the Moto G. Now we are running the Antutu benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. The scores have loaded, so let's see. We got a score of 17449, which is the highest in this price segment. Beating the Moto G, the Canvas Magnus, as well as Canvas 2.2, which are available in this segment. Now we are running the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess. We'll get a frame rate. So we got a score of 54.9 FPS, meaning even high end game should be easily playable. I'm definitely interested to see how this performs in gaming. Now we are running the Velamo HTML5 chapter. So we got a score of 1930, which is again really high. And it compares quite well to the Moto G, which got a score of 1958. So you can see from right there, it's just below the Samsung Galaxy S4, which again has a quad core processor. Now we'll run the metal chapter of Velamo. It will test the CPU specifically. So we got a score of 585, which is again a very healthy score. The Moto G scored 563 in the same test. So you can see that the Q2500 is quite well matched to the Moto G, even though it has a 6 inch display. So now we are running Lin Pack. In the single thread test, we got a score of 112. And the multi thread test, we got a score of 258. And higher than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor on the Moto G. Now we are running the multi-touch test. I have six fingers on the display, but as you can see, only five are detected. So it's a five-point multi-touch display. And speaking about the display, it has excellent color reproduction and there are no issues with viewing angles. You can see for yourself. The construction of the phone is truly solid. The matte back cover gives it another sense of elegance and the device looks truly premium in all respects. And moreover, there is no six-inch device in this price segment that can beat it in terms of benchmarks. We'll be back with lots more on the Zolo Q2500. Till then you can watch its unboxing, the review of the Xperia Even Dual and gaming of the Zolo A510s. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions about this or any other phone. Please ask in the comment section. We'll be back with more. Thank you and have a great day.